I had just recorded this clip and my microphone was fucked up and it sounded terrible and now I have to record the whole fucking clip. Uh, so this is the deal, guys. This vignette, hyper basic pass level farm detail for step one. And I combined it with difficult biochemistry stuff, okay? Um, step one's obviously pass fail now, so enough of the theatrics, okay? I'll cut to the fucking chase. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now let's start the fucking question. 34-year-old dude being treated for tuberculosis, and he has three-day history of paresthesias of his left arm. Questions asking about the vitamin deficiency and what it does biochemically. You need to know it's past level, as I prefaced with, that this is vitamin B6 deficiency, pyridoxine. No fucking excuses, okay? So isoniazid causes B6 deficiency, and it can cause neuropathy, nonspecific, okay? Paresthesias, seizure. That's our past level detail, okay? Now we move into the harder biochemistry, and there's theatrics, but I'll cut to the chase. So uh, breakdown of odd chain fatty acids, wrong fucking answer. I mean, this would be for uh, biotin as well as B12. So biotin's B7 as well as B12. Odd chain fatty acids liberate not just acetyl coas but also propionyl coa which via propionyl coa carboxylase and biotin goes to methylmalonyl coa which via B12 and methylmalonyl coa mutase goes to succinyl coa all just a bunch of theatrics and horse shit okay like you don't need to know it now that step one's pass fail so we're just going to keep moving forward collagen synthesis wrong answer but very high yield for vitamin c deficiency okay extremely high yield so vitamin C is a cofactor for hydroxylase enzymes, uh, and you need that for collagen synthesis. I've made other questions on that. Scurvy, vitamin C deficiency, perifollicular hemorrhages, bleeding gums, ecchymoses. Very, very, very important, okay, for step one. Choice C, wrong fucking answer for gluconeogenesis. Now, many uh, enzymes, cofactors involved, of course, but this would also be vitamin B7, biotin, okay, when we have pyruvate. Rather than moving forward into the Krebs cycle, we could uh, bring pyruvate uh, via pyruvate carboxylase and vitamin B7 to oxaloacetate, which then can go backwards via P, uh, PEP carboxykinase, goes to phosphoenyl pyruvate, and then back up to glucose. Once again, a, a bunch of theatrics and nonsense that you don't need to worry about now that you don't need to uh, shoot for a high score in step one. Um, heme synthesis is our correct answer. Now look, this is going to sound pedantic, but I promise you it's not. I'm not about wasting your fucking time. You need to know the first step of heme synthesis requires vitamin B6, okay? So succinyl CoA plus glycine via B6 and delta ALA synthase goes to delta ALA. Sounds pedantic. It's not. It's all over the NBMEs for step one, okay? Including the offline forms. Uh, and they also even want you to know the substrates. Like I just said, succinyl CoA plus glycine. They've asked succinyl CoA as well. They might give you a heme synthesis disorder, such as acute intermittent porphyria or porphyria cutanea tarda. And then they have uh, so they'll say like which the following is required and the answer could be B6 or the answer could be succinyl coa or the answer could be glycine Okay, very fucking important that you know that Krebs cycle wrong fucking answer. I mean this could be uh, pyruvate dehydrogenase when we bring pyruvate uh, to uh, Acetyl coa requires B1, B2, B3, B5 lipoic acid uh, Also succinate goes to fumarate requires B2 Bunch of horse shit a bunch of nonsense uh, You don't need to know this anymore. Okay it's not our fucking opinion. I mean, it's not. I mean, the U.S. Similarly decided they wanted a pass fail exam, so now students don't need to know any biochemistry, apart from some general stuff like heme synthesis requires B6, collagen synthesis requires vitamin C. You know the deal. I'm gonna continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.